Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to my very first YouTube video. I'm Mo, uh, and welcome. And as the channel name implies, this is Mo Tech Flow. So pretty much, I'm gonna be talking about tech on this channel. A lot of it's gonna be the most relevant and most recent uh, tech that we have coming out, especially in the mobile and the mobile services side. So it could be like phones, tablets, laptops, and other interesting technologies. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do this as consistently as I possibly can, but I do work full time. So maybe once a week or once bi-weekly and then we'll go on from there. Uh, so hopefully you guys like it and I would definitely appreciate uh, a like, a subscription and a comment down below of what you guys think. And if you guys have any uh, points for me, just definitely let me know in the bottom below. Okay, so as the thumbnail and the uh, title of the video implies today, we're going to be talking about the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I just got this guy in uh, this morning today. So we're gonna just gonna unbox it, talk about a little bit of uh, what it can do and um, a little bit of what's different with this one compared to maybe some of the older ones. So this is just gonna be a quick uh, unboxing and uh, a quick just reaction and just get my first few thoughts about it. So we'll definitely go more in depth in another video that I do plan on doing, hopefully releasing in next week or uh, within two weeks from now, just to give you my full uh, thoughts about the device. So this is actually my very first uh, Max device since Apple started making Max devices. Um, uh, so I usually I just go for the regular 12, I mean the 11 Pro or maybe like the smaller device usually because there isn't that much significant difference between them. But this year Apple's done a little bit a few things different with the Max one. And to be honest, I mobile game a lot. Um, so I'm like, you know what, let me just try a bigger display and uh, see how that works for me. And I am constantly on my phone, so the bigger battery, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an improvement. So yeah, so let's just go ahead, unbox it, and then uh, we'll see what's inside. Okay, so now we have the device in front of us, and this is it, the 128 gigabyte variant. And this here is the uh, silver version, so let's go ahead and unwrap that. And there we go, get that plastic off of it, throw that there, and this box does feel a little bit heavier even though there's less inside this year because Apple decided to remove the uh, charging brick from the box. So here we have the device over here, and they're a little different, definitely feels really good in the hand with this old square design. So Apple moving, uh, making a move right back to that. Uh, so we're going to put that off to the side for just a second and we'll see what we get in the box. Uh, we see we have the USB Type-C lightning uh, charging cable. So we'll put that over there and we seem to have paperwork here and just like that, nothing else in the box. Apple did decide to remove uh, the power brick headphones from the box. So you are getting a little bit less than what you've gotten in previous years. Uh, inside here we have the SIM ejecting tool, just some um, standard paperwork and your average Apple sticker. This year only coming with one, so they're taking that environmental thing a little bit serious this year too. Um, so uh, the way I feel about it, the power brick definitely is important um, and I feel like uh, removing the power bank does have its benefits, but they should have gone with it, uh, done it a little bit differently, especially because a lot of people don't actually have power bricks that support USB C to Lightning. Uh, most people have the standard USB A power bricks, so that is a little bit of a bummer. But for if you're someone who's been in Apple and probably been upgrading fairly uh, recently, then you're gonna have a Type C brick. And then if you don't, you can get one from Apple's website for about uh, 20 bucks. Um, but again, yeah, everyone feels a little bit different about it, but yeah, we'll see. So, yeah. Yeah, as we can see this is the device here it definitely feels really nice and looks extremely white on the back like almost like just like a white wall and then of course the you got the edges uh, silver stainless steel definitely feels really good actually uh, I miss this form factor if you're someone who's been uh, with iPhones from like the iPhone 4 and 5 days and you'll know that this is the uh, OG design over here and it definitely uh, does not disappoint uh, so yes yeah, so let's go ahead and remove that and boom there you go that is the display there and yeah that's the phone definitely looks really good uh, I'm just gonna power it on now and let's give that a few seconds boom and it's powering on yeah as you can see the phone over here definitely again it's a big boy this one is 
biggest iPhone I've ever owned. Uh, 6.7 inch display goes about 800 nits of brightness, which is pretty much the same as the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But it does it is slightly a, a little bit bigger with that one being I believe 6.5 with the 11 Pro Max and this one being 6.7. Um, again, definitely feels like a very solid device. Uh, the cameras are definitely uh, the same orientation as the previous device, but this time you also have a LiDAR scanner, which is supposed to have a lot of uh, practical AI capabilities, so pretty much uh, mapping out rooms, better measurements, uh, collecting more depth data to so get like some really nice portrait photos. Um, and again, this year, uh, all three photos can do night mode, and they, uh, this I, uh, LiDAR scanner is supposed to definitely uh, help out with that. And even the front-facing camera, uh, it can also do night mode. For, uh, that's something the iPhone 11 Pro Max can't do. Uh, so it is, it's a small improvement for that. Uh, again, I do have a more in-depth analysis going more into the specifications and the uh, differences and who exactly this device uh, should be for and if it's uh, worth it. I'm going to be dropping that probably in about a week or so. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, uh, everything else being said, the device definitely does feel a lot bigger. I definitely do like the more screen real estate. I know this year Apple also released the mini device. So we'll see how that one is as well. I don't uh, plan on buying that one, um, but I do plan on checking it out and probably giving it my thoughts on that as well. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to be for something for someone like me just because it's, I'm just not really into like tiny little phones normally like anything between like 5.5 uh, to like uh, 6.7 like this one right here would probably be uh, something more ideal for yeah, me so also something new with these phones is the introduction of 5g to all of the brand new iPhones so you do have faster speeds uh, more available to you even though 5g isn't really uh, widespread yes yeah, so it might not be the reason that most people should go ahead and buy a brand new iPhone just because 5g infrastructure just isn't there yet but it is going to be there in the future so if you do want to future proof yourself and you don't and you have the money to shell out for a brand new iPhone or you need a brand new iPhone then it's definitely worth it to just go ahead and future proof yourself all of these new iPhones also house Apple's brand new a14 chip uh, so it's supposed to be significantly faster significantly be more power efficient uh, because these new iPhones also do have smaller batteries compared to the uh, 11 Pro Max and the and like the other 11 series um, but again it's not like significantly lower just a little bit lower but it more than makes up for it probably with the a14 uh, being more power efficient but we'll have to see I know I've seen a few videos online where the 11 Pro Max is still obviously the better uh, battery uh, device and I've seen actually one or two videos where actually the 12 Pro Max edges it out by just a little bit so it's probably like a use case scenario kind of thing but that's more again more that in my in-depth uh, video so I'm definitely hyped to test out the cameras test out the functionality the formality right now just again initial impressions holding it in my hand and again I mobile game a lot so just like holding it like this is pretty much I can do this for hours and it does feel good just because instead of the rounded edges it does feel like my fingers pretty much just wrap around a lot easier since it's like corner to corner um, so we'll see how it works on, on a day-to-day -day basis and see um, how do I, I like it again this is my first Pro Max phone so you know if you're someone who's never owned a Pro Max phone before um, this may be of interest to you to know how it is from transitioning from a normal size uh, like 11 Pro and into the uh, bigger size phone of course we still have face ID notch over there it does seem a little bit smaller again maybe because I am coming from that smaller phone so in my eyes it's probably perceived to be a little bit smaller and again this is 6.7 it is Apple's biggest iPhone but again 6.7 6.5 not too big of a difference in size um, so yeah those are my first initial impressions on the device again very solid uh, feels good love the throwback to the squared up designs uh, the color looks fantastic uh, I like the uh, white silver uh, blend over here. So yeah, it's gonna be testing it out and again Thank you guys so much for joining me on my first uh, YouTube video I think and please like comment share subscribe uh, and also follow me on social media I'm on Twitter and Instagram at MoTechFlow. I'll put those links in the description and uh, peace out. Thanks a lot